Now that your neighbors are starting to look at you funny because your uh, holiday decorations are still up, that can only mean one thing. Valentine's Day is coming. Whether you celebrate with a loved one or just resent the fact that you have to buy something for somebody, one thing is for sure. We are going to be moving a lot of chocolate this month. Uh, somewhere around 58 tons or so. And why not? I mean, it's a classic, timeless gesture of friendship and romance, right? There is, however, one ingredient that may not be uh, so sweet. Palm oil. Dun, dun, dun. I've actually got a friend who knows much more about this than I do. Eco-activist Emily Hunter. Hello. Oh, and she's uh, right there. Emily, tell them what's up. Okay, guys, three things. Palm oil ingredients are found in one out of ten supermarket products, including chocolates, margarines, makeups, and shampoos. Palm oil is one of the leading causes of deforestation. This threatens the survival of orangutans and other species dependent on the rainforest ecosystem. Deforestation speeds up climate change. A forest the size of 300 football fields is being cleared every hour. Okay, okay, so clearly palm oil isn't a great thing to consume, especially on Valentine's Day. It's, I mean, it's not romantic at all. But Emily, is there anything we can actually do? Yes. Check your labels. If it's got palm oil in it, avoid it. Oh, that's actually pretty easy. <laughs> Anything else? Yep. Bake your own palm oil free cookies and sweets for your friends or loved ones. You know what? As long as we're going palm oil free for Valentine's Day, let's do this all year long. Join the campaign to protect the Borneo rainforest. Go to deforestaction.org. The solution is in the palm of your hand, and that's pretty sweet. Nice double pun. I know. I'm Derek. And I'm Emily. And this has been a Squirrel's Eye View. Yes!